Welcome back to the Stronger Cookbook series. Today, I have the pleasure of inviting Andre from Llama Index for a walkthrough using Llama Index in a Streamlit app. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so in this video, I want to demo our Streamlit app, which uh, I'm calling Art Task Solver with human input. Um, and this is powered by Llama Index Workflows. Um, before getting into the app and, you know, showing how to actually use this uh, art task solver, I'll open a, a bit of a sidebar and get into what is an art task. So art tasks, uh, tasks excuse me, um, they come from this Arc AGI benchmark. Um, and essentially this benchmark is meant to measure the ability of an AI system to learn new new skills. And, and if I scroll down real quick, uh, what what the idea here is that uh, other AI benchmarks are relatively solved by AI systems today uh, in terms of like their relative capability uh, compared to human capability, right? However, for this Arc AGI benchmark, um, you could see that humans are actually not that uh, sorry. Humans are uh, doing quite well on this benchmark. But even like the best AI systems today are far beneath that level. Um, and even here on this x-axis, they say Arc AGI remains impossible for AI today. And so the creator of this, uh, the creators of this benchmark created this Arc Prize, which totals uh, you know a million dollars and if not more in terms of public competition, to be an open source uh, solution for this benchmark and. I believe that public competition is this one on Kaggle, um, and and this is live now. And you can even see this quote here, which I highlighted, which states that uh, humans can easily score eighty five percent in Arc, uh, whereas the best AI systems can only score thirty four percent. Okay, so with that backdrop, you know, let's get back to this app. Uh, so essentially, that is the main motivation for wanting to do um, human in the loop with this. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and use an LLM uh, and work collaboratively with an LLM to solve these tasks from this benchmark. <clears throat> and you'll see shortly how it works. Um, but the idea is, again, as we work with the LLM to uh, solve these problems, hopefully what we can do is we can save these sessions, and that's essentially what we'll do, um, and you know, fine tune uh, these collaborative sessions, these positive sessions where we do solve the arc task on the LLM so that uh, by doing so, we inject that human reasoning on this task and hopefully that can lead to a better score on this difficult benchmark. So that's the premise. Um, now let me get into what is an actual arc task. So each task within this benchmark is essentially a, a new puzzle. And all these puzzles come with these grids. And uh, every task comes with train examples. Um, and so in this, ex in this task, there are three train examples. And uh, in a train example, you've got an input grid and an output grid. And what's common between all these train examples is the pattern between input to output pair. Um, and if you could see, you probably are watching and can you know, guess what the the uh, pattern is. Now, if you know what that pattern is, then essentially you just need to take that inferred pattern from the train examples and make a prediction on the test case within that task. And then you make that prediction and you see if that does match the ground truth, which of course I've, I'm hiding here from the app. And I hide that from uh, the LLM as well when we do prompt it to make a prediction on this grid. So what we'll, what we'll do here is we'll work with an LLM. We've designed some prompts, uh, and we're, we're using Llama Index Workflows to power this whole application. Uh, and this LLM will generate a, a prediction. Uh, so it will generate an output uh, grid, which we will, again, portray here. Uh, and you'll see, actually, let's do it now. So I just need to get an API key for OpenAI. So we're using OpenAI uh, for this application. Uh, and the model that we're using is GPT-40. And now that I've supplied my 
API key, I can hit start here. And what's going to happen is this, these examples are passed into the prompt to the LLM The you know, the task was described, uh, and it's going to produce an output grid. So if I hit start, what you'll see are just some events here that are streaming. That's if you're familiar with workflows, then essentially it's an event driven type of abstraction. Uh, and you can see here actually it was able to predict this one correctly, uh, to my surprise. Um, before in er earlier cases, this was not able to solve this. So um, now that it's solved this correctly, you can see it's passing um, and you can actually get the fine tuning example. And, and this adheres to the OpenAI um, fine tuning API. So this is now a JSON that you can uh, amass into a JSON L file and then send it to the OpenAI API fine tuning um, API. But now let's take a look at some other tasks that perhaps uh, this LLM will have more difficulty on. So I don't know, let's see this one here, um, or maybe this one. Uh, this one looks a bit easy. Uh, so again, we have our training examples, right? Um, and let's see it how it fares on this one. Okay, he's able to get this one correct too. Um, so that's correct. If you go here, you can see the past attempts here. Okay, that's just a model showing you the rationale and the critique. So we do ask the LLM uh, to provide a rationale to the prediction as well, as well as a critique. I want to get to a case where it's not solving it and actually would need, you know, uh, another iteration of solving, and, and then I could get into into that. So. Okay, this one looks complicated. I don't know if I'll be able to solve this in real time. Um, but okay, so this looks like a very complex um, task. So let's just see what the LM can do. All right, so it's not passing. Uh, the predicted output is incorrect. Um, so again, I mentioned that we prompt the LLM to create a prediction. Uh, we also do prompt the LLM to create a critique of it. Um, again, we we don't pass the test uh, ground truth. We're just saying critique this prediction of yours uh, and assert why it may not follow the pattern uh, in, in uh, encoded within the training examples. Now, if I were to run this again, hit this continue button, what will happen is the LLM will go through another round and create a new prediction, and it will try to create a better prediction using this critique, okay? So if I hit continue here, um, it will use that critique, it will make a new prediction, and we'll see it again. Let's see, so. Okay, there you go. So now we've got two pass passing, uh, sorry, pass attempts here, both failed. And again, you, that LLM did a prediction based off the previous critique, it generated a new critique. And so this is where there's an opportunity for a human to intervene actually. And unfortunately, I don't know that this will be a good case because I don't know the pattern on this one. Um, but I can say here, the predicted output is incorrect, right? And I could say now the pattern involves yada, 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 right? And now if I actually knew the pattern, I'd mention it to uh, the LLM here and I would uh, run this. And by doing so, I've now injected this human reasoning. Um, I don't think it will get it. And I hope not. That wouldn't make some sense. Okay. So if I go to this past attempt here, you could see if I click here, uh, sorry, that's the critique on the latest one. But if I go to this one, you could see there is my critique, right? Now, imagine, you know, I have worked on this a couple of times. So some of the examples I was able to work with the LLM collaboratively and provide it a critique so that it would ultimately solve uh, the, the task. And imagine it was able to do so. Uh, you, you could take a look at your fine tuning example and you could see the history um, that would, again, conforms to the uh, fine tuning API that OpenAI provides. And yeah, this is Again, me, the user saying the predicted output is incorrect, the pattern involved, blah, blah, blah. So when you're actually doing this, provide an actual rationale. And then hopefully what will happen is that the LLM is able to solve that problem together with you.
Now, if this was a good case, you'd want to save this and then you'd want to then fine tune your LLM. Okay, so that's essentially how you inject your uh, human input and reasoning within this task and how you collaborate with an LLM to solve them, hopefully. Okay, um, so now I just want to walk you through um, the GitHub repo for this app uh, because it involves more than just a Streamlit app here. So the Streamlit app will help you to uh, basically amass your fine-tuning data set, which will have human reasoning uh, collaboration sessions with the LLMs that you can then fine-tune on. Now, in order to fine-tune, uh, and I'll get into that stuff uh, very soon, um, we've got this CLI here that we've included in the GitHub repo. So when you do install the package and you follow the readme instructions um, and you set your API key um, in, in your environment variable, you'll be able to submit a fine-tuning job um, and, and specify the LLM, uh, et cetera, uh, using our uh, CLI tool. And essentially what will happen is all those fine-tuning examples that you did save will get saved to your local file system. And this CLI will concatenate them and prepare them into a JSON-L file and it will submit it to the fine-tuning API. Uh, you could check the status of a fine-tuning job and, and then finally with the CLI tool you can also do an evaluation because the data set um, also comes with uh, not only training examples but an evaluation data set uh, and so again those are not seen uh, by the LLM or by the human uh, for that matter um, and you can uh, you know, test your, like any sort of LLM that's not fine-tuned on the task, you can do an LLM that was fine-tuned on your uh, human annotated um, collaboration sessions uh, and then see if that, that leads to a better score on the ARC benchmark. Um, and yeah, so before uh, finishing this demo, what I do want to talk about is the a bit of under the hood. So I mentioned there is a workflow, a Llama Index workflow, that is essentially powering uh, this ARC test solver. And I've hinted at it before uh, that what the LLM does is a prediction, evaluation, and then a critique, right? And, you know, we actually implemented this using a Llama Index workflow. So uh, with Llama Index workflows, if you're not familiar, it's an uh, event-driven type of abstraction um, and so what it, it, you're able to draw these workflows uh, and execute programs. So this workflow, which I call the arc task solver workflow, gets a, a, a start event, which is essentially a task. It's, it's in a certain format, so we need to format the task. Uh, it's a JSON, so we need to do some sort of processing on it. And then, as I mentioned, uh, the LLM will, be, will, will predict on that task, right? So then we, that leads to a prediction event. And then we have a deterministic evaluation event comparing the prediction to the, the deterministic route truth that will lead to an evaluation event. And then I mentioned that we prompt an LLM to critique uh, the the prediction. It doesn't know the ground truth uh, it, when we prompt it to get this reflection. So it's just saying, uh, the prompt just says, provide uh, you know your best guess as to why this prediction might be wrong. And then after that critique, uh, there's a stop event. Now, what's nice about workflows is that you can run successive workflows passing in um, a context, which is a way that we can pass state uh, through these successive workflow runs. And so with when I'm um, seeing this critique here that's being uh, generated from the reflection step, I can override this, and this is what the human does. I can override it by doing something like this. And when I hit continue here, before running the next workflow iteration, I am modifying that context that fr that was saved from the previous workflow run to update the, con uh, the critique so that the critique from the human is, in fact, the one that's being used. And so, yeah, that's our uh, arc task server solver workflow, of course. Um, the code is over here, arc, arc fine tuning uh, st folder. And if you go to workflows and you go here, you'll see it here. So here's our workflow. Here's our format task step. 
here's our prediction step, here's our evaluation step, and here's our reflection slash uh, critique step. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. If you stayed this far, please drop a llama emoji in the comment section. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also liking the video. And as always, happy streamlining.